All right, so in this video, I want to talk about why I don't tend to interpret dreams. Because a lot of you are probably wondering, and a lot of you do actually message this channel, you know, on various platforms, I don't know, Instagram messages or email. You sort of, you message asking things like, I just had this dream, you go on to tell me like this detailed dream, what does it mean? And in most cases, I either won't reply or I will reply and it'll be something like, you know, I don't interpret dreams, I don't know. Uh, or I don't want to answer that question. The reason for those replies and the reasons that I don't tend to interpret dreams, talk about dream meanings that much, is there's a, there's a few good reasons for this. So firstly, obviously, dreams are very subjective. So uh, what your dream means is going to be completely different to what somebody else's dream means. So unless I actually know you personally, which in most cases I don't, there's no way of me knowing what meaning you've attached to certain things, you know, what things are important for you and for your subconscious mind. So, if, like for example, say if one person dreams about a tree, right, and for, for them, they have this deep fear of trees because when they were younger they climbed a tree and they fell out and broke their leg, right? That, that person's dream is going to mean something completely different to if, say, I have a dream about a tree. Because for me, trees are a symbol of nature and health and, you know, being in nature and being in the world, climbing, fun, adventure. So obviously the meanings are completely different. So if I was to say, if I was to reply to somebody saying, you know, what does this dream mean? You know, I've been walking through this forest or something. Unless I know you and unless I know what you, what meanings you've attached or formed around certain symbols, there is no way I can interpret that dream, and, and nor can anyone else, really. I mean, yes, there are people who claim that they can interpret dreams in this way, and to be honest, yeah, there are some, I guess, really generic things which have a very common or, uh, you know, very, yeah, I guess a very common meaning. Like, for example, say, say if you dream about being attacked, right, in 99 times out of 100, that isn't going to be good. You know, that's going to be a negative dream. Most people, 99% of people, I would say, view being attacked physically as a negative thing. <laughs> Unless you're some sort of MMA fighter and you just, you like the action. But, so in in those cases, yeah, you can probably say things like, okay, so you're maybe you're feeling fear, anxiety, worry, or, you know, insecurity in yourself. And that's why your dream has manifested uh, a fight, you know, a conflict. But if it's something else, right, if it's something less common... If it's something like like a specific symbol, like a bottle of wine or a DVD or an apple, you know, or something random like you're, you know, climbing a palm tree or something, like those things are so specific and so subjective that there is no way that I or anyone else could interpret them without knowing you. So I hope that sort of makes sense. Now, that being said, I do have a post on my website, howtolucid.com, which does explain the top 100 most common dreams and their meanings. And so in that case, obviously, I've basically taken the top 100 dreams, the most common, and I've uh, not analysed them as such, but I've sort of given generic... The, the word I want to use here is guidelines. I've given you guidelines of what these symbols and themes usually mean. But most of it, if, you know, if I can give you that guideline, the chances are very high that you can work it out for yourself. Like, for example, the, the conflict thing. If you dream about being in a fight, it's probably bad, right? You can probably put two and two together and, and work out that if you're dreaming about being in lots of fights, maybe there's some sort of internal conflict, or maybe you're not sure about something in your personal life, maybe you're not sure about a relationship, or maybe you've just been arguing with your spouse and that's manifesting. In, like, it, When you think about it in that way, it's fairly easy to work out what dreams mean in general. Now, that being said, lots of people have very complex dreams, and it's kind of a bit of a weird one, isn't it, when you have these really long, vivid dreams and you just don't know what they mean. I guess it kind of be, it can kind of be a bit confusing, and you do want to know the answer. Like, if I had a really vivid dream and, I, and it felt important, you know, I'd want to know what it meant. But in t unless you go in inwards and, you know, work out maybe why you've been having that sort of dream, it's going to be very hard for you to work out the meaning, especially if you're looking to people online to tell you because they have even less of an idea than you do in most cases. So, and this might, a few people might disagree with this and I'm fine with that, to be honest. You know, I'm fine with, I'm fine with that. I'm just putting out my subjective experience, which is all this channel has ever been. It's just been me telling you 
or sharing with you what I've learned, what I've uh, seen, experienced, and how I feel like that can help you. That's literally this, the whole point of this channel. So with things like dream interpretation, I mean, I could pump out 10 videos a day, you know, talking about dream meanings and stuff like this, but I don't really know what your dreams mean unless I know you. Um, and you're the same, you know, you, you can't understand your dreams unless you realize that in, in most cases, they, they're a subjective interpretation of things that you, uh, that you have. That sounded very complicated, didn't it? I don't know if that even made sense, but hopefully you sort of get what I'm saying anyway. Um, so yeah, in terms of dream interpretation, if you've messaged asking me to interpret your dreams or you know things like this, then the chances are I won't be able to. Not necessarily won't be able to, but like I've said, I just don't think it would be any value to you. You know, I could make something up, but that wouldn't really help you. So I'd invite you to, instead of asking other people what your dreams mean, Try and think about, and this is the best tip I can give you, right? This is probably the most important part of this video. Try and think about what the symbols and, you know, the, the, the themes of your dream, what do they mean for you in, in terms of like, like say if you dream about a palm tree, just stop and think, of, forget the dream for a second, just think about palm trees and go back to your memories of palm trees. Like, are they good? Do you normally see palm trees when you're on holiday, for example? What I'm saying is like, think about your memories of these things and what they mean to you. Because that is gonna be the biggest help that I can give you. You know, you can inter you're can you very well equipped to interpret your own dreams. So, <laughs> I don't wanna turn this into like a motivational speech or anything like that, but you know, I've gotta go and have my smoothie. And so my smoothie is actually, uh, it's actually there. I'm waiting for it to defrost so I can blend it more easily. Why am I telling you about smoothies? The video was all right until he started talking about his random smoothie jug. Uh, so yeah, interpret your own dreams. Think about what the symbols mean to you and like go back into your memories. Think about all the times you've seen or interacted with that symbol. And that should give you a pretty good idea of what your dream is trying to tell you. So leave a comment letting me know your I tell you what, let me let me know your best dream. If you're if you've watched this far, leave a comment say, telling me your best and also your worst dream that you've ever had, and maybe what you think they mean. So go and do that right now, and I'll try and reply to all of them. I really will. The weather is absolutely beautiful lately. Can you tell that I've started to not burn? I don't want to say burn because that's a bit that's a bit sad really. But I think I've started to tan, which is the start of summer in my eyes. So leave a comment. Oh, go and subscribe to my other channel, by the way. Why haven't you subscribed to my other channel? Come on. Transcend your limits or transcend travel, as it's now called. There's two parts to it. Links are always in the description, but I don't think you... Uh, I feel like you don't look in the description. But yeah, go and check out Transcend Travel. I think you'll like it. I post regular... I don't want to say daily because, you know, obviously at the moment I'm not travelling. I'm just waiting for my next trip in a, in a week or two. But I, I usually post regular travel videos most days like say if I'm on a trip I'll post a video every day and a lot of you liked my previous video that I did you know I did a video where I was walking across a bridge and also there was another one when I was walking around a forest you probably remember um, yeah a few of you liked that so if you want more of that go and check out Transcend Travel leave a comment and I'll see you next time Thanks for watching guys, this video and this channel are supported by my Patreon followers. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel, or just click the links in the description and you'll find links to various Lucid Dream products, articles, techniques and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video, please click the notification bell and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Why are you still watching this? You should have clicked one of my related videos by now, right? Or subscribed, or gone onto my website or something like that.